Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a tutorial on how to get this uh, sweater sleeved flannel. I took inspiration off of this shirt which I found at Forever 21 and the reason that I wanted to make it is because that is $30 and mine only cost probably $10. So you're going to need a flannel. I got mine from Goodwill. I know it's not the same color but um, it was the nicest one I could find. You're going to need a sweater. I also got it from Goodwill. Both were about $5 each. You're going to need some scissors and you're going to need some pins. So starting off, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut the sleeves off your flannel. And I, of course, started to film and realized I wasn't recording. So you're going to want to just cut your sleeve um, off after the uh, seam. So what I'm doing is I am just cutting um, not so that the seam is attached to the sleeve once it's removed. I want the sleeve, the seam still on the actual flannel. So um, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> but you want it like this so that you have something to sew the sweater onto. Um, and that way it looks a lot cleaner than if you were to cut the seam off and just have a um, jagged edge. So that's just what I'm doing here. I also recommend cutting along the line in one layer, not cutting through um, both layers so you get a really clean line. And this is what it should look like when you're done with that. It looks like a flannel vest. And then now moving on to the sweater. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing. So I'm cutting on the outside of that seam, just like we did on the flannel. Um, again, this is because if you want to use that sweater for anything else later, then you'll have nice um, armholes. And so again, I'm cutting a little slit so I can begin cutting the sleeve off. And then I'm actually turning the sweater inside out. Um, I realized this after I started cutting because you have the seam allowance on the inside and you don't wanna cut through that. So it just makes it a lot easier to see what you're doing when you turn it inside out to cut. So that's just what I'm doing here. So you're gonna wanna cut the sleeves off of the sweater on both arms. And then once we're all done with that, we're just going to pin the sleeves to, of the sweater to the um, armholes of the flannel. So you're gonna wanna put right sides together. So what I did was I have the flannel um, facing me with the uh, inside and then I just put the uh, sleeve through the armhole and you're going to want to match up the armpit seams on the flannel to the armpit seams on the sweater so that you don't have weird awkward lines so that's just what I'm doing here I'm pinning it and make sure you stretch your material your um your sweater material to fit the armhole because most likely the sweater is going to be a little smaller than the flannel. So just make sure you're stretching it while you're pinning it along the armhole line. Um, I'm hoping this makes sense to you guys. I'm trying my best to explain it. But from there, you're either going to sew it on the machine or you could hand sew this um, with just needle and thread. Just do um, either like a looping stitch or just a straight stitch. Um, and that's pretty much it. I don't recommend gluing it because just because I don't think it would work very well. But this is just me sewing it on the sewing machine, just doing a normal straight stitch. And that's pretty much it. Really inexpensive, really easy, and I thought it was really cute. And I know it's not the same exact colors as the one that I saw at Forever 21, but I still think it's really cute and you could make a bunch of these if you wanted um, because they're so inexpensive. And it's fun to go to Goodwill and find um, things that you can refurbish and make new again. But yeah, this is the final look. I really, really like the way it turned out. I think it's really cute and a great way to give life to a old item that nobody is wearing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please subscribe. It really means the world to me and it lets me know that people want to see more of my videos. <laughs> so yeah, leave me comments down below of what you want to see next. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.